Air Invasion Standard. Already, already, already. What are we doing here, folks? All right, so here we are playing some Dimir Invasion. So the core of the deck is use Invasion of Amonkhet, attack it, flip it over, reanimate stuff. So it's like a Dimir kind of tempo deck. Spyglass Siren uh, is in here. We have Fairy Mastermind. I think playing two Schooners is better. Schooner is a really sweet card. Uh, lets you explore, gets you some value. You can feed your graveyard, gets you card advantage in terms of lands. Uh, tempo elements like removal, counterspell. We played some Rakdos with the Deep Cavern Bat. This bat's really good as disruption. The Kite Sail Larcenist is a way to shut down opponent's creatures for a bit or like uh, trouble some artifacts. Skitter for graveyard hate and just go wide. Gix in here for some card advantage. You have a lot of flyers, so it's an easy way to draw some cards. Uh, I would almost think that like maybe we want more Gix, but we'll see how the games play out. Alcataz comes in when it attacks, when it discards, and then um, we get to get bats when it attacks. Tree Folk Thunderhulk, seven mana, comes into the battlefield with three 1 1 counters whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks create a number of 1-1 one, one equal to its power. Um, so notably, if you reanimate it with, or you make a copy of it with Invasion, uh, then you get to have it come in as 7 power, so you get 7 in here. Uh, the mana base, we tweaked it. So this was a list from... Let's give some credit where credit is due. This is from... Apples and Fruits on Twitter. They got to number 142 Mythic, so uh, last season. And then just Hand Hate, a bunch of counters, a bunch of removals. Tashana for some activated ability countering, uh, which is kind of cool. And then um, just like removal options. We're going to be playing Jinja Taxis on the side, uh, which is kind of cool to see if we could reanimate that bad boy as well. So let's get this started see how it plays out give it a couple games i think this one is probably better suited than the rakdos deck to be honest we just got absolutely bullied by ramp and with ramp being so prevalent i don't think we want to be in a position where we can't counter their bigger stuff first all right time looks good so depending on what they play bat into gix is a really nice line ramp okay so we could get rid of ley line binding this really kind of messes up their curve Now I can draw some cards, and then next turn I can Amonkhet. Hey Jaffer, how's it going? We might not want to Invasion this turn. Or at least attack with the Invasion. Let's see what they discard. Or what we mill. We got Topiary Stompers, we got Bat. Ooh, with Make Disappear, pretty solid. So here, let's get Bat. Get an Angel. And now I can go Siren Make Disappear if they just hard cast this. I have go for the throat. That's fine. I probably should have. I 
don't think we're on this at this point, to be honest. Because here, if they just go Archangel for a blocker, I'm going to go for the Throat It. Uh, Pioneer, Jaffer? The bat's good, but like if we had a line, I'd keep it. But the way this hand's kind of shaping up, we're, we don't want to tap out at this point. So if we compare this to the Rakdos game that we played, like having the disruption with flyers, with kicks, just feels so much better. Cool. Enjoy your last Discover Day. Um, so we're going to want Strokes, Pierce, Negate, Duress, probably Cruelty, Artifact, Instant Sorcery. Probably not good enough. This just gets hit. I think I might want Tashana as well. Uh, in terms of coming out, Thunderhawk's probably too weak. Cutdowns are bad. Seven cards to cut. Lord Skitter doesn't do enough. I don't like Larcenist in this matchup. Shieldred's probably too slow. Like, we just want to go tempo. Uh, Schooner's probably fine. I basically just want to play a Flash game here. I, I don't think we play this. Like, in this matchup, we need three cuts. I like all the counter elements, and I just want to play a Flash game. Maybe Schooner, but Schooner helps us set up our draws. So maybe get rid of that. I got mismatched Disdainful Strokes. That's gross. How am I killing something that resolves? Because I could Tashana the trigger from Leyline Binding, which is kind of cool. Let's get rid of a Schooner. And maybe just one of these. It's like the weakest of it. We'll do that. The mono red burn deck that we were playing in Explorer seems pretty popular with like Ozier and Pioneer. We keep this. Oh, that's a really good one. Because if they don't have a play on two, I just get Malcolm going. Okay, so they do have Leyline Binding up. So we're probably going to get rid of Underground River here. And at this point, it's just hold up counter spells, drop in flash threats. I'm ready for Monday though, Jaffer. I, I found Coptero Dom Contra Bandista. Um Given that that's two for one, I th think we just counter here. Or I should have I clicked the wrong thing. I meant to sack that. That was my mistake. That was dumb dumb. That was dumb. What's their turn five play that I care about? Probably nothing. Well, hopefully they needed lands. Ah! They had the Bayloth. They got me. Okay, so they did hit the... I could get Malcolm. 
Kudras. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's happening. We are going to see an Atraxa in two turns, so... Need to try to kill them here? So it's a bit annoying because they did find their cavern. So yeah, I think it went to the misclick on the make disappear. I don't know what my brain was thinking. That was a good draw for them. So I could invasion here. Okay, so that actually works out pretty good because so I invasion here. We have to hope they don't hit a land. Okay, now we have to hope they don't hit a sweeper. No sweeper, no sweeper, no sweeper, no sweeper. We're in a good spot otherwise, I think. I think we're doing this. And then I'm just going to reanimate a Traxa. No sweeper. Yeah, so they sacrifice a non-token creature. So you can take that. Have you come in? You are now a Traxa Grand Unifier. Um, okay, so we want a land. Artifact, creature, make disappear, the rest. So I think here we're just going to get them to discard. All right, this deck felt sweet. This is so much better than the Rakdos deck. The Gix uh, feels pretty nice when you're able to just kind of run them down like that. But we will run it again. I want to try to catch the bat, hopefully, or play the bat god. Like we could keep without blue mana. Sure. Put Larcenist back. Or make disappear. So this is okay if we can pop it on. Is it in this economy? Okay, so it's a little weak. I think we need action, to be honest. I haven't seen a Storm Coast 
Storm Carved Coast. Oh, Pirates. Pirates pretty sweet. Okay, Breaches is a real nasty one. So we're definitely going to want to make disappear this one, I think. I think we're just going to take this damage. I think we stop them from getting some card advantage here. Okay, that was a nice one. Get us some Malcolm value. So we'll go Malcolm here and Breaches. This will give us the option to start looting. I think with Takanuma. Okay, so would we rather Takanuma or the Spyglass Siren? That does make our land turn on. Siren gives us another evasive threat, but doesn't let us Myrex. Probably just get rid of that. Let's see what we draw here. Okay. So now we could still let it attack in with the Restless Reef next turn. We have five power in the air. Okay, well, that's certainly annoying. You can mill. So if they get something cheap, we can cut down it. This also having vigilance is kind of annoying. Some pretty nice draws in succession. Staunch crewmate here. The land would be best. Okay, so do you, do you. Enters the battle full. For each creature, choose up to one other target artifact creature that player controls for as long. Okay, so I submit zero. Sorry, I have to, it's the first time I've ever cast that card. So I can get rid of this, and it lets me two turn clock them. That's probably best, because they don't get a block, so it limits the amount of draws. This could only be flashback with a Planeswalker. Okay, so they had the Lightning Strike. They needed that specifically. They get that back. So. Playing it safe. They get the schooner. Removal spell one time. 
Just a line, just a line, just a line. Perfect. So the fairy's not bad. Let's me get in for an attack. Force the attack. I think we just pass here. See how they go. Okay, so we know there's just one unknown here. Chart a course. It's a good one. Oh, I forgot to flash this in. My brain was in autopilot. Hopefully that doesn't cost us. I attack with need to try to find something here. Yeah, that might have cost us. Did hit the bat. Bat might buy us another turn. I misplayed that. They drew a well timed. These stupid Zephyr Sentinels. Okay, so they can target creature can't block this turn. They get the scry. So how do we win? Probably too late now. That's a certainly a way to win. Potentially. It would have been nice last turn. What's your last card? Ah. Opponent had some very timely spells. We screwed that up on the go for the throat type play. So Parasitic Grasp, we'll do the Gix Command, we'll do Path to Peril, I think. Path to Peril is probably worse. Could do Tide Binder. But maybe just Spell Pierce. Honestly, I think it just comes down to drawing better. Honestly, I don't even think we want Tide Binder. Spell Pierce could be fine. Scooter's fine. The bat's a bit of a liability. Probably Urtai is too slow. Larcenist is fine. We don't really bring in more removal, which is kind of annoying. I think this Thundering Hulk's too slow if we ever draw it. I don't want that there. Um... Maybe just get rid of Larcenist, a uh, Larcenist. Maybe just one spell pierce. Just have him respect it. I'm tired of seeing Jesper. 
Atraxas domain's also annoying, but it's just as for good cards. We we kind of punted this one. They drew a good succession of cards. Probably going to try to get Schooner down. And then I can go take something from their hand. So do I want to kind of entice them into breaches? It's good. We need to hit a line, I think. The downside here, obviously, they get to go chart, of course. Okay, Spell Pierce is nice. Any of these humans? Yeah. I think the life gain could be relevant. Um, I think we're just passing the turn here. So crewmate, get crewmate. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm still... This rotation's very silly. So we're going to do this. Okay, so they're not reacting. Okay, we'll still fairy mastermind here. And we'll spell pierce. Really want to hit a land. Thank you. Okay, so notably, we can't counter pirates, but we can kill pirates. I think here I'm willing to take the damage to see if they chart a course. And now we'll just grasp this. They can't block. Got him. Got him! Okay, so since they are on cavern. I think the Make Disappear comes out. And we might want Path to Peril. And we might want Urtai. Path to Peril, let us play catch up. It could be right that we want Larcenist. They did have Lightning Strike and Light Up the Night. They probably bring in 
barrage is my guess, so the uncounterable doesn't really make a difference. This one's fine. Lead on shipwreck here. Staunch crew, mate. So if they just go crewmate into crewmate, I think we go Malcolm. Skewner. Okay, so I think we get this started. Discard a card. Don't think we're on schooner, and I actually think we hold off this turn with playing Sentinel. Because if they have breaches, I want to be able to answer breaches. So they have slip out the back. Do they have another slip out? Uh, they have both, then I can't really do anything. Get a card out of them. This will give me a block at least. I need to try to find my path to peril. And then they got that too. I think you need more like removal in this deck. I'll take. Why can't you block? Oh, you crude. I could get breaches out of the side, and then I have Urtai. I mean, maybe we're okay, because, like, they're going to animate Schooner. But even animating Schooner, they have to attack into a Breaches. So let them make their decision first.
Let's destroy you. Block here. Block here. Block here. And they, they come with schooner again, but that's pretty good. So if they get something to crew, You're a pirate, right? Yeah. I'm gonna create a treasure. So I can hold up spell peers, but everything they have is cheap, so I think we're just going to explore here. And... Probably good enough. Because now this gains me two life, and I can block. So we're doing okay. Like, we kind of stabilized, in a way. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Malcolm's got a deal combat damage. I'm drawing a flyer there is a little annoying because I don't get the clean attack in. Okay, doing this just for the explore value, they chart a course. We'll get that out of the way. Can I force the attack in not enough to... F oh wait, I can get it so this can't block. Using their pirates for our advantage. So we're going to cast you. You are going to become... Al Alkazats Malats. Let's go just here for now. The reason being, they could have removal. So I'd rather not play into the removal. We're also getting to the point with Gix. Actually, I don't think I've ever actually activated Gix's second mode. Okay, so they did hit Breaches. Breaches can get rid of a blocker, which is notable. So they get rid of Alcatoids. So, biggest thing here. So you block here, block here, block here. I'm taking four. They play that. I can attack with that. Gain a bunch of life. All right.
Demir Tings. The bats are right. Slowly making our way up. Like first. That looks good. Go schooner on two. This could be an Esper mid. So notably, if they have Denik, this shuts off schooner's ability. Given they left that up, kind of inclined to not animate. We'll see what they do. This could get out a make disappear though, so they have to kind of decide here. So that's kind of my thought process. We force out a card. If not, they either counter, they don't. Okay, we see make disappear. This is likely legends. Okay, so they have Malcolm. They have Rafine, it's a bit annoying, but we have go for the throats. And then I can copy their Rafine. That's that right, doesn't matter. I gotta pay Ward anyways. So we're gonna crew here. Get the explore, hopefully draw land, beautiful. Have you become Rafine, love it. Um, so if this is Esper Legends, they don't actually play anything other than go for the throat. I think throw it on top's fine. So they can try to hit Rafine here. Cut down doesn't work on this. They could Wandering Emperor it. That's fine. That takes their whole turn. I'm going to go Gix here. Let's me draw two. Okay, stop tapping me like that. We hit a land, it's really good. Okay, so I don't want Spyglass. 
I want to try to be able to flash in Fairy Mastermind. That's a bit annoying. So I notably don't have another white source. A Bindenic. So they can go for the throat that discard a card. It's fine. They can try to go to the Make Disappear line here. Okay, so you see Bat. This could just be mid range then. Cool. What are you going to take, opponent? And we have Skrelv. So I think given that they found Skrelv, I maybe want to protect the bat. I actually have enough here. Let's go black. Let's throat you. Screw here. Don't think we want make disappear at this point. So like realistically, what do we lose to here? They can get the Denic back. Like if they attack with this, it's not a great line for them anyways, because then I just flash this in and I draw a bunch of cards. They're at nine, so and even if they make disappear here, because I could threaten the block, they can give Skrell of protection from give it pro blue. That resolves. Sure. I get to draw a card here. They've been the virtue, so it's Esper mid. A channel, get them that way there. They're forced to block anyways. They don't really have much to do here. So Parasitic Grasps in. We'll do the Gix command. I think there's a bit too much in counter spells. Like, I don't know what we're bringing Tidebinder in for. Denic kind of shuts off. A lot of our effects. They're mostly a creature pile, so Jin's not the best. Path to Peril could be interesting. They're on like probably more light creatures, so that's something we can try. I don't think we want Disdainful Stroke or that. I don't think we want Duress. 
Cruelty could be interesting. They have incidental graveyard hate, so can't take that out. Similar with cruelty. Probably don't want that. Larcenist is probably more of a liability. They have cutdowns. Just play it like that. I think this deck does want just like another go for the throat in the side. Just like dumb removal. Even, uh, yeah, probably just go for the throat. We just need another piece of targeted removal. I don't think the tide binders are enough. Like, we're not, there's not really stuff to stifle. Like, you could stifle a Traxxas trigger, which is fine, but it's not like they still have a 7 7. They're probably winning. You could stifle a leyline binding trigger, but I think in that matchup, we have counter spells anyway, so we're fine. I guess we could stifle Rafine's trigger, but in and of itself, it's not a great card. Are we time? So we're, we're ahead on clock. Their mana was a little awkward. I think, yeah, just having access to the full eight removal spells, because we're only playing 3-3. Three, three between cut down and go for the throat in the main make disappear is not felt great yeah it's one of those cast they win okay so it's opponent logging into www.youtube backslash mtg joe to see if they are live let's say hi to them chat That or they're uh, just a, a, ta a wee bit salty. Hands good. Keep. Kill everything. Do we have enough to support Chrome Host Seed Shark? Like, we got a lot of the flash elements, which I like. I mean, considering I'm live like once a month, it's pretty ambitious to think. Like, it's different if we're on Twitch. So we'll do this. Rona. Actually, don't think we want that. Just kill this now. Okay, so they did get Schooner. So the thing is, I can't kill the Schooner regardless what they bring in. So I think we're just going to get this going. Now, they could have Spell Pierce. If they do, then they do. We, I think we had to take that line.
they have their land. They love, love keeping that open. Okay, so if they flash something in, it's a bit annoying. They're hitting their lines. They have, we have Urtai, they could try to go Shieldred, but Shieldred likely meets a Make Disappear. So I think we do this. Try to bait out, yeah. Welcome. Let's try this out. I think we need a land. Okay, so they do this. They can protect it here. We are at five, so they keep that alive. They get the land. They could have spell pierce up. Screw that up, order. We are probably dead anyways. They kind of tempoed us. Uh, maybe Larcenus just as a blocker. Just trim it like that. If we had like one more life, we're probably okay. Mana base was a little awkward. I'm thinking, like, I guess we lose to Spell Pierce anyways there, so we should have done the life gain, but we would have gone up to five, gone down to three, so we were dead to any creature. They had two cards in hand. So it was more likely than not we were dead there. No removal is a bit sketchy in this hand, but so like, what's the line here? Okay, you know, what? took a chance there. We got blown blown out by Spell Pierce there. It might be that we do want Spell Pierce in this matchup.
Amonkhet, probably not. We need another creature in case they kill the schooner here. Might have been right to flash, bring this in. I could make a creature with Myrex to screw the schooner. But if they want to get their attack in. I think this deck just wants like more schooners. Like instead of Larsenist. Larsenist has felt bad. This could be destroy evil. This could be Malcolm. I think Gix is probably good enough. What do they have? Their hand must be like all black cards and they just haven't hit a black line. Let's see Denik here. Then it can help them with the life gain element. They could have make disappear, so this is the safer line. Because it would require them to sack Denik here, otherwise they give me two cards to be drawn. Actually three cards. So we, we sniffed out the destroy evil there. Let's see what's happening in the hand. Oh, lots of bangers here. Okay, so they could Lord Skitter here. They could Rafine. They can make this appear. Now, do they have a way... They have the land, so they can Rafine, start gaining some life. They attack with two, Denik helps them race that way there. I can set up the Alcatraz. Um, they could also kind of go into Duress there. I think if we're taking rid of this, this. This means they don't have Flyers, which is probably best, so... Let's take Rafine here. Denik shuts off Skitter's ability anyways, so... I think taking Raf Like, they, they gain just too much life with the Rafine. And I could just wait another turn. This is the... Turn target opponent's owner's hand, target opponent discards a card. No blocks. They duress me here. Then I get to drop Alka Toys. That's a good one, too. So I do need to be a bit mindful how low I go in terms of life. 
Just going to draw only lines. Get the bats good. Jesus. How many lines could someone draw? So, casualty takes place there. Wish we had one more land. Killing this now because they can get protection. We'll decline here. So that's only five damage. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. What a freaking top deck. I'm going to lose now. Oh my God. If I didn't draw literal seven lands. I guess I could have attacked with the land. That might have been lethal. I mean... I don't think you're going to draw seven lands there. Which is kind of absurd. Because the problem... Like, we had to kill that. They, anything that they got other than Shelly, we live because it's only five damage. It's just that particular instance that they get us. Everything else, we're fine. Which, like, I think is a fine way to approach it. If, if you're dead to just literally one card that's like a two of in the deck. I forgot to add more removal. All right. Let's go bats. I might actually wait a turn on the bat. Because, like, they just have Nissa right now. Okay, we're taking a chance that they don't have Sunfall. That this card and this card's not Sunfall. If it's not, we should be okay. That's fine. Bean stock. So I think here we do. Take the Nissa. Well, yeah, these sleeves are cool. The uh, Kamigawa ones. No sunfall. No sunfall. No sunfall. Interesting to see Get Lost in the deck.
I have a stop. Doing this on like the least valuable. Don't want Larcenist. I kind of misplayed there. I should have uh, Myrex. Uh, I mean, we're probably dead to Atraxa, so. Holy hell. That's eight, nine. When you're out manaing the ramp deck, it really is a thing of wonder. Because, like, we have spells in this deck, somewhere in this deck. I do think we want another Gix in here over Lord Skitter or a, a, a Looter Scooter. Truly impressive. Okay. Well, two mana one ones getting the job done. Uh spell peer. Actually, do we want spell peers? Maybe we'll see. Disdainful stroke, negates, duresses, cruelty, Tishana coming out. Kite sail, I think. Cut downs. Do I want disdainful? Yeah, shuffler is rigged. I think we cut Shieldred last time. So the battle. What's the wording on this? When it enters the battlefield. So we can actually stifle the battle, which is kind of cool. Um, probably go for the throat. Looter scooter. Alkatoids. Invasion. Only lands. Like the last game against Esper was so frustrating. It's like you only lose if you draw like nine lands. I'll keep this. Show me what you got. Temporary lockdown, lithomantic barrage, Jace. I mean. So Barrage just one for ones me here. They can get Jace going. I have Tishana. So I'm actually going to do this. Because if they want to kill Deep Cavern here. Oh, oh, that was a draw. Very annoying. We would have definitely taken Chrome Host Seed Shark if that was the case. Okay, 
So we'll get rid of the use the spell pierce while we still can. I should have stifled the trigger here. We'll do this. Migration, they'll probably ditch the land here. That's a bit annoying. No big creature yet. Okay. I can't stifle the activated here. We got topes. So I can stifle the activation here. So let's play Schooner. We're in a pretty bad spot, but... I think they can react and do it again. Some good draws nonetheless. They don't have blue mana, so we'll do this. Ah, why did that show that way? I don't know. Okay, so that was kind of a awkward. So they do have the Seed Shark in. They do have Jace's. I'm going to trim it to Shauna. Probably just play another Go for the Throat here. Their hand was good, and like... Seeing Get Lost come down. So, I think we do this. I'll lead with Duress and then go Siren here. So they have Barrage, but no red mana. Herd Migration helps them find it. And then they also have the Wedding Announcement. So I think we are going to get rid of Herd Migration here. Okay, so they did find their red mana. I have a couple options here. 
I don't have an available threat, so I can dress here, get rid of this, which I think I like. I will keep the bat. If I had another threat, but I don't want to be threatless against this deck. Myrex is a nice draw. Pierced. Oh, and we drew stroke. I I love it. I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to attack. I'll take you. Pass this. Get Yogg. Next turn, we draw three cards. Yes, please. Take action. Take action. Take action. Okay, so they can besage you my schooner if they want. It's a free land. We take those. I think we're going to get another blue here. Actually, we'll probably get a black. Blue, blue, blue. We'll get a black. Yeah, I think the core of this deck feels really good. I think the only thing I would change is I didn't love the Larcenists. I think they're too soft to just like various removal spells. They're not great blockers. I think a large portion of this deck is you wanting to play kind of so I actually think Kaido could be good in this deck too. The curves of Kaido. So like, I think that's more cute than anything. And I cut these. I would play. Honestly, it's just like two Gix, two Kaido, I think. Or like Kaido, like one Kaido, maybe. Maybe two. Like, I kind of want to, eh, I'd probably play the little Kaido package. So I'd kind of go like that. And then in the sideboard, these Tide Binders kind of suck. On it. Uh, I think trim one. So like I like the counter spell package. I like that. And then I think we just have like the removal package. And honestly, there I would probably play like another. So we can go this Kaido, doesn't really do much on its own. We could go Liliana. Uh, give me a sec, uh, Dragon, and I'll take a look. Um, so I, I think maybe like Liliana could be reasonable. Parasitic Grasp's fine against the aggressive decks. You have your two Duress, which is fine. Path to Peril can be okay against some of the go-wide strategies, but it kind of hurts you more.
like what I'd probably want is um, white creature. What is it? Minus two, minus two. Oh my god, really gonna make me... What's the, uh, like, sorcery sweeper that minuses? Listening deluge. All creatures get minus one, one. And then if they're white, they get a minus two, two. Does that hurt us? Spyglass dies, Fairy Mastermind dies, Malcolm dies, so probably not. We don't want the Exile. Through some realization, we have a short window where this is relevant. But honestly, I think it's just like... Cut down... Go for the throat. Like just have the, the removal package. What other like one and two mana instant removal spells are there? This figure probably don't want. There's anoint with affliction. Bitter triumph. I don't think we necessarily want to be on the discarding plan. Right, just play like Shieldred's Edict. We could also just shift to play like Siphon Insight against like the Control E decks. Since the matchups, it also gives us something if we mill over. But I think in those matchups, the. I don't think we want to be discarding our losing life. We saw in the Esper matchup, because they have Denic, they can race us with Rafine that they could put big damage. It is better versus Scooter. Like, I will say our weak spot is to Scooter, so maybe that's the line. Because we don't have, like, an Abrade-style, Destroy-Evil-style effect. Honestly, this grasp was more awkward than what it was worth. So maybe Bitter Triumph. We have Edict. We have the Duresses. Cutdowns. The Cruelty of Gix feels kind of clunky. So like for the Control matchup, Oh, so for say like domain, it's that plus the duresses, right? Then we have cut down number four for the aggressive decks. Bitter triumph. Go for the throat. Shieldred's edict. Maybe because this does planeswalker as well. So the bonus here is this targets. This is sacrifice. This doesn't really like this gets rid of Atraxa. This doesn't might be the way um sacrifice enchantment is it like three cmc that one enchantment what's the uh the card from the rakdos deck we played Extract the truth. Yeah, let's maybe try extract the truth because it still has that edict effect that I like. So extract the truth.
So, like, early game, nah, maybe not. Probably lose to Leyline Binding anyways. So... Gix Command, just play a second Gix Command. Might just be it. So, yeah, maybe don't play the cut down since it doesn't hit some of the key things. Have the Edicts, have the Bitter Triumphs, the Resses. Play a second Gix Command. Because like a lot of it is you don't want to necessarily tap out. Dix command does that nicely. We have the flash threats. Yeah, Gix seems good here. For best of one, I would I would play the full set of removal and cut to go for the throats. Or sorry, to make disappears. And I would probably play another shield druid. To be honest, I think I want to go threat heavier in the main. I didn't love make disappear in this deck. Like main board, you run them down with flyers and you have your disruption. Try to get their hand that way. Uh, one more card in the sideboard. Spell Pierce felt pretty good. Could play another duress. We have the commands for like the go wide decks. Maybe just like another Liliana or like another Kaido. I don't think we necessarily want to go like Big Planeswalker. It felt good. Like we lost to Esper by drawing six lines in a row. Uh, literally any other card that we draw, we're fine there. So we could have the Jace for the domain matchup. Oh, Siphon Insight was a card I wanted to play. That's it. Um, so I'm actually going to cut Liliana and I'm going to play Siphon. So the only downside with Siphon is Insight. is Denik shuts it off from the graveyard, but we're naturally kind of milling it that I think it's fine. I think that looks sweet. We might not need this, might be win more. It is a very good threat once you get to the top end. Just continually kind of pressing their, their deck. Had the Myrex. I think this is where we want to be. So let's change to Invasion. I like this one. This one was fun. All right, folks. I think I'm going to wrap up, go grab some lunch. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow for the Metagrain breakdown. Probably do another live stream. We'll continue on again. Uh, we didn't do too bad with the... Like, we were very close to another win here, but literally lost to the top of our deck. But... Happens sometimes. Appreciate everyone hanging out. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and uh, see ya. Yeah, yeah, I'll, um, here, hold up. Let me export it. Give me one sec. We got Aetherhub going. Taking a quick look. Do we really do we want another schooner? Like schooner's really good. Actually, let's try with Kaido, because Kaido kind of replicates the schooner ability.
I'll drop it in Discord after this as well. Yeah, let me know um, if there's any changes. Like the cards right now that I'm a little iffy on, like this maybe is a little one more, but I could see its potential. The number of make disappears, it felt awkward a lot of times we were casting it. I think we just want like the hard counters. I could see maybe one of these becoming another schooner and then kind of playing it from there. But I like the elements of this deck. It's, it's a fun kind of strategy, flash tempo game. Any case, folks, have a great one. Stay safe. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.